Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Monday, October 11th, 2010, and though it wasn't all that exciting in the market today, we do have some stuff to report, so check it out. Okay, U.S. markets closed in split fashion, but relatively the same as their Friday's close. There's no major activity as of the close, and no volume behind the activity either. Uh, Canada was closed for their... Uh, Thanksgiving they have their holiday and then the, our bond market here in the US was closed thanks to Columbus Day uh, I think maybe we should, we should all be bond traders we get more holidays but in any event if you were in the market today you didn't do anything but just watch the screen go tick 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 it was quite boring but we did have some activity here uh, you got a shooting star formation which is something I've been waiting for here I like to um, use those as my signals to leg in so when I was entering here I'd like to add here but I have to wait for that item to show up and there it is right there so I can add there that's cool that's what I did on that one and we do have the bearish divergence still in play here which is corresponding to the high points of this slow stotch it's trending down these high points correspond to these high points here and here all right all these actually and here and here you'll see this is trending up this is trending down this is telling you right here that momentum to the upside is fading while price activity is still moving higher. That is a sell signal you don't want to trust. This is unsustainable. Speaking of unsustainability, today we had some good news out of the market. If you follow us on Facebook, you've got those news articles. Uh, a couple different points that were made, really good points. Uh, number one, referring to the uh, S&P uh, PE ratios, they were basically saying that it's any rally from here higher is unsustainable, which is, you know, basically agrees with the technicals. And that was a good point. And then another point was brought up that a lot of the hoped for Fed QE2 uh, is probably already priced in, and that would be another sell the news type of thing. So it's something you've got to take into account. Personally, all these things just confirm my technicals here, telling me the same thing. You can fight all you want. You can, you know, waste my time for a day here a week there I don't care the end result you're going to erase all of this stuff right there everything below everything above 580 will find itself back down below 580 so that's kind of why I'm looking for this thing to fall apart and just add to it on the when the technicals tell you there's bearish divergences in this case you have a bearish setup going back to 580 and another one at 587 that's basically telling you the bounce here you look for this bounce and then you short it because you're expecting that fail below the 587 but like I said we've got another one at 580 you can't see on this chart anymore but it's back there as well so it's something to keep in mind moving on okay I'm still waiting for another shooting star here in the Nasdaq to show up so I can add to it there it hasn't got it yet you will notice we are having the bearish divergence formation there and this basically corresponding to these high points here which is still trending up ever so slightly right there that's unsustainable. You also got all these gaps, big old gaps that need to be filled, and those are also going to get filled, and therefore all this move to the upside we're seeing here is going to end up being erased. Volume today, very, very weak. It's like three guys in a basement buying stock. It's actually nothing to concern yourself with in any way, shape, or form. You'll notice here as well, very tight, looking for that rollover point down here. We do have some news on, on uh, the week for like the Fed coming out. Uh, kind of get an idea what they're talking about behind the closed doors so forth and so on but you know like the news pointed out a lot of that's already priced in you can still get a blip to the upside if they say something positive but remember uh, with the currency war in play the Fed doesn't have all the power that they'd like you to believe they have uh, right now they have to concern themselves with China we're the borrower not the lender so we don't have as much power as we like to pretend we do okay uh, again when you're at this point overextended tightening up you can get a third bump to the upside like this but it'll be short-lived and it only makes you that much more uh, prepared for that rollover and I like to find the short opportunities when you're above the zero line this being the zero line moving averages above that line here tighten up I like that the more uh, the higher it gets above that zero the bigger the sell-off will be uh, that's when it does actually happen uh, that's the main thing in this market right now is not to be um, impatient you've got to have patience in this market let it come to you don't fight it don't you know uh, let, let them you know fake you out just by the news really analyze it if you're getting the news out to say the, fu the fundamentals are overly priced already why would you go out there and buy this market it doesn't make any logical sense there's no value in it on that play you've got to have a pullback to therefore create that value until that happens you would just be chasing a stock higher because it's going higher and that's just never a good thing to do
Another thing to point out, again, you're pressing up here at 65 now. You've bounced off the 79 a couple of times. You're getting sign after sign after sign across all indexes, across all markets, telling you the same thing. Overbought, overbought, overbought. Every time we get there, someone tries to tell you, this time it's different because it's never different. Okay? Quick look here at the FTSE London Financial Times Index. We have bearish divergences to go around the globe here. You got one here. Okay, we've shown it to you on just about every other chart we can find as well. All these t telling you the same thing. Everything from this point right here and beyond is unsustainable moves to the upside. Doesn't mean it has to turn around today, but it will not be sustainable. Therefore, when it's put under pressure, it will fall apart like a cheap suit. Okay, so again, stay on the short side of this market. This is not to be trusted to the upside. The biggest mover for the day has probably got to be the VIX. She was down 8.45% on the day. Major things here to look at. First off, you're trading well below the lower Bollinger Band line. Don't jump on it just yet. Wait for a, a reversal signal like a hammer formation, something something like this. All right, uh, we'll, we'll show it to you whenever we, we see it show up. But uh, wait for that. You do have a bullish divergence telling you should be a buyer here as you're getting oversold. I agree with that. If this were a true move, you'd see the overall markets trading above their upper Bollinger Band lines. You're not seeing that. So something's not right here. Definitely want to keep an eye on that uh, if you get a reversal tomorrow or some kind of signal like that we'll bring it to your attention whenever we see it but just keep an eye on this for now and uh, nothing changing my analysis but it's definitely an opportunity to either be uh, buying the VIX or VIX related items or uh, keep an eye looking for some kind of an activity uh, on the bullish side for uh, the indexes for example if, if the Fed were to say something that, that gave bulls a lift for the day or something like that you can you can see that too so uh, keep an eye on it for now nothing to change there. One last item on the VIX that I need you to pay attention to, the 30 line of the RSI, okay? She runs between the 70, above the 70 line, it's extreme overbought, right there, and below the 30 line is extreme oversold, okay? It happens on occasion, not very often, but whenever it does happen, it's extreme. So if you, at 35, now you got five points to the downside before you hit that extreme. That's something else to be looking for on the long side of the VIX, which would be the bear side of the overall markets. There's no reason why the VIX shouldn't be down there, being that all other markets and, and gold and everything else is all overbought, the VIX should in fact be below the 30 line, so that wouldn't be a big shocker. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free, all we ask in return. Please refer a friend. We've also got over an hour worth of videos there, uh, free videos under our Perfect Stock Alert method of technical analysis, teaching you the step-by-step -step method that I follow for locating opportunities, find, determining the quality of the opportunity, analyzing the market, so forth and so on, and an entire bunch of videos out there, uh, like 50 different videos on technical analysis, teach you all kinds of stuff as well. Pretty cool stuff. We'd love to see you there. A quick look at our disclaimer. The disclaimer, read it and weep. I'd like to see you all tomorrow morning in our Swing Traders course in our live chat room. It's a lot of fun, a lot of information being shared, and a lot of good guys. All right? Pretty cool. Take care. God bless. Enjoy your evening.